In this tutorial, we're gonna add a comic book effect to this image to bring it into something that looks a bit more like that. I created this image in another tutorial. All we're gonna go through in this one is just to apply the comic book effect itself. We're gonna type in some specific values later on. So we need to make sure that we've got a similar sized image to me. So the image size for me needs to be at 150 DPI or pixels per inch. The height needs to be a thousand pixels for this to work properly. So width 1501, height 1000, resolution 150, and then hit OK. So if your layers are all merged together, we just need to go to filter at the top and go to filter gallery. And in filter gallery, we first of all need to go to poster edges. This should give uh, black lines to different areas of color. And so these values will have to change um, for your specific image. But for me, values of two, two and three, so two for thickness, two for intensity, and three for posterization they work quite well for this particular image. We're just looking for the black outlines at the moment. Go ahead and hit OK on that. And now we can again go to Filter Gallery. Be careful you don't click on the top one. That applies the last command, which was our edges. We want to go to this Filter Gallery here. And this time we're going to choose Cutout. And the values I want for Cutout are number of levels should be 6, edge simplicity should be 4, and edge fidelity should be two. Now we can see here that we've sort of lost all of the information on his eyes. Um, and if you're okay with that, you can hit okay. I'm not okay with that. So I'm gonna go and select his eyes here with the marquee select tool, the shortcut for which is M. And I'm just gonna hit control C on that. I can paste that later. I'll then go to filter gallery, go to cutout and choose six, four and two and then hit OK on that and we should have this effect. I'm just going to uh, paste his eyes back on. So if I hit Control V normally it'll put his eyes in the middle of the document just to be annoying. Um, if you hold down Control Shift V it'll paste his eyes exactly where I copied from. So that was Control Shift V and I'll go back over there and now I can go to Filter, Filter Gallery and this time with the cutout I'm going to choose um, eight levels. Edge Simplicity I'm going to drag uh, down a bit to two and edge fidelity again I can move that down to one if I want and then I can hit OK. If I turn that layer on and off I can see that there's I, so I can see the whites in his eyes a bit more detail in there. To make it blend better to the more simple layer underneath I need to go to the eraser tool right click choose a soft eraser um, probably with a size of about 80 pixels or something opacity 100% and just uh, erase those edges out just so we can't notice anything wrong with it. And you can turn that on and off and his eyes will be a bit more detailed, which is important because eyes are usually the focal point of characters. Um, I'm going to merge the eyes with the background layer. So hold down shift, select both layers, right click, merge layers. And now to add the, like the, the, the printing dots to this, I need to duplicate this layer, right click, Duplicate layer or hit Control J, which is a shortcut for duplicate layer, and then go to filter, pixelate, color half tone. And the max radius I'm going to set to 6, and the channels I'm all going to set to 45. If you leave them at the default values, um, all of which would be different, you should have some nice colored dots. But I'm, if I type in 45, it should give us a more standard black shade. Max radius 6, hit OK. It's going to look really ugly. So for the blending mode, where it says normal, change that to soft light and then drag the opacity down to 50% and you have just added a comic book effect to your image.